So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about GMS 2021 August attempt. As you all know, the examination of all shift is over now. So I, so I am here to provide you all shift analysis uh, in the category wise expected cutoff for the J advanced examination. Uh, that is the minimum marks that you need to score at least for each category that is general, PWS, OBC, SC, ST, so that you will be eligible for the J advanced examination. So that I will provide you and most importantly, I will provide you the marks versus expected percentile for each shift of each day. That is, uh, you will you will able to know about the safer score for 99 percentile, 98, and I will I will discuss for all the day that is 26, 27, 31st, and 1st of September. Uh, from 40 to 99.9 percentile, I will consider all percentile range so that you can estimate yourself how much percentile you are going to get in the upcoming result of GE mains fourth attempt. So if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe this channel so, so that you will get the information related to GE mains and GE advanced and other counseling, other entrance exam also in this channel only in future also. So please try to subscribe and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information. So one more very important information that is now all the all the shift of uh, GE mains is happened now. So now you have to do the counseling carefully because the counseling is most important. You have done the two years of hard work to get this percentile or marks, but it is ultimately counseling that will provide you the seat so if, if you want counseling guidance for JE mains or any other counseling that you will do based on JE mains any other entrance exam counseling you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box but only if you need counseling guidance because for that you need to register with me then I will guide you for all the thing that is what are the possible colleges for you what are the possible branch for you and what you should take what you should not take because it's all about your career so you have to take the decision very carefully and I will help you in that by discussing with you separately so if you want you can contact me anytime using the information available in the description box so let's start this video so here is the j advanced cutoff for 26th of august so uh, here i will provide you the category wise uh, cutoff marks for uh, shift 1 and shift 2 both so for general 124 marks for shift 1 because it was somehow uh, easier than the other uh, shift you have so to score 124 plus marks for shift 1 but shift 2 was one of the uh, hardest. hardest shift of this attempt of JE exams and it is the fourth attempt so uh, you have to score 188 plus only and uh, for EWS 94 plus 76 plus and for OBC 96 plus 78 plus and for SC 62 plus 45 plus so one more thing I would like to tell you that marks versus percentile doesn't depend only on the uh, difficulty level of the paper it also depends which type of a student appear in your seat so no matter what I am telling or what others telling you will get the percentile based on your marks difficulty level and the most importantly type of a student that appear in your shift suppose if the shift is hard but every student solve more number of questions because they have good uh, you might not get the best percentile even after scoring good uh, good marks in the top shift also so it all depends on the type uh, of a student difficulty level and the number of uh, question you solve so uh, all those things have a factor on the marks versus percentile so so hope you understand this point so uh, for uh, SCS students 62 and 45 and for ST it is 50 plus for shift 1 and only 36 plus for shift so now two. I will talk about the expected cutoff for J advance for the 27th uh, August so here is the expected cutoff as you all know 27 shift 1 was the hardest of this attempt so so you have to score only 102 plus to get the cutoff clear for J advance exam but for shift 2 it is 120 plus for OBC 72 and 90 plus AWS 70 and 88 plus and for SC 42 and 58 plus and for ST it is 34 and 60, uh, 46 plus marks you have to score in order to be eligible for the J advanced examination. So, so later I will provide the marks versus percentile also that is shift wise for each day. So uh, try to watch the video till the end so that you will get the complete information. And once again I would like to inform you that if you need counseling guidance for J mains or any other counseling you can contact me because counseling is the most important thing. Once you contact me I will guide you personally so that you can get the best out of your uh, rank so that you won't have to regret later after joining wrong college next if you talk about for uh, the cutoff for 31st of august uh, so here is the information for general uh, 130 plus marks will be required for 31st shift one because it was the easiest uh, among all the uh, i am not saying it was very easy but it is uh, uh, comparatively it was easier than shift, uh, that is of 31st shift one and for uh, shift two you need to score 112 because it was moderate to difficult paper so OBC 100 plus and 85 plus and for EWS 97, 83 and for SC 70 and 53 and for ST 60 and 42 plus marks it will be required for shift 1 and shift 2. So now if you talk about the last attempt that is the 1st September you know only shift 2 uh, was, was held on September 1. 
so here is the information general you have to score 115 plus marks because it was also moderate to difficult level paper and for aws 83 plus and obc 85 plus and for sc 53 plus and for st 42 plus so this is all about the expected cutoff marks uh, shift wise i have provided you for all the day now you can say that the 27 shift 1 was the hardest and 31st shift 1 is shift among all the shift there was not so much difference but there was a little bit difference and other shift was comparatively similar in term of difficulty level so that will have an effect on the marks versus percentile also that i uh, that i am going to tell you now here is the marks versus percentile for the 26th august so uh, I am not going to discuss all the thing because video will be so long so I can tell you that for 99.9 to 100 percentile you have to score 275 for shift 1 and 250 plus only for shift 2 because shift 2 was a little bit harder as I, as I told you previously also. For 99 percentile you have to score only 200 plus marks for shift 2 but for shift 1 it is 230 plus. So uh, these are, are the expected marks versus percentile but I am very sure this will be true after the result because similar type of video I uh, provided for previous 3 shift also. And and after the result that becomes true so you can really trust this data and i don't want to just provide you the wrong information so that you will be happy now but after result you will be shocked so yeah so i just uh, try to provide you the result that uh, that you can expect in the result and after result you will be satisfied after getting your results uh, so next there is some more data for 26 as i told you i will i will consider uh, uh, from 40 to 99.9 percentile uh, i have provided all the data so you can check, the check all the data by pausing this video so for 95 percentile you can see the difference of 23 marks between the shift 1 and shift 2 so so it all depend on the difficulty level and the type of a student that appear in the particular shift so next if you talk about for 27th of august here you can check the detail that is for 99.9 to 100 you need to score only 245 plus marks for 27 shift 1 and also for shift 2 you need to score 270 plus and for uh, 99 you need to uh, score only 190 plus for shift 1 and for shift 2 it is 220 so you can so you can check by pausing this video all the detail wherever uh, your marks is lying uh, you can get the corresponding percentile so next here is some more data for 27th of august that is for 95 percentile you have to score 120 8 marks only for shift 1 and for shift 2 it is 150 plus uh, so, so you can check all the way all the data by pausing this video so one more time i would like to inform you that if you want to discuss all the thing what you can get based on your percentile which type of an it you can get what you should choose better branch or better college because different students have different type of expectation so i can discuss with you separately if possible i can discuss with your parents also because it's about your career decision so take it very carefully and it need detailed discussion it is not like that where whether you should choose this or that and yes no question it is not like yes no question so try to understand it and so if you want you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so that i can guide you personally next if you talk about uh, 31st august so here is the data you can check by pausing this video that is for 99.9 to 100 percentile you have to score 285 plus marks because it was the one of the easiest shift of this of this attempt of j and for shift 2 it is only 260 plus and for 99 if you talk 240 plus marks will be required for shift 1 and for shift 2 it is only 210 and other you can check by pausing this video so here is some more data for 31st of August. You can check by pausing this video. That is for 95 percentile. You need to score 139 for SIP 2. Uh, and uh, for SIP 1, it is 160 plus marks. So you can check all those information because I have provided all the information from 40 percentile till 99.9 .9 percentile. So next uh, is for the September 1. That is only one SIP 2 was there. That is SIP 2. So here is the data for 99 to 100. 267 plus will be required. 99.8 uh, to 99.9. .9, your uh, marks should be 255 plus. And similarly, you can check by pausing this All video. So here is some more data for marks versus percentile that is expected for the 1st September. So you can check by pausing this video. So this is all about the marks versus percentile and expected cutoff for the JE advance. I have provided you all the shift analysis that is which type of paper was and uh, uh, what will be the expected cutoff category wise and marks versus percentile all the way from 40 till 99.9 .9 percentile so hope you find this video very useful for you so and please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all type of information in future also and if you need counseling guidance you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box but if you need then only because for that you have to register with me then i will guide you for all the counseling that you will do this year and i will provide you the best out of your rank or percentile that you have got so that you can join the best college that is possible for you this year so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe